Okay, so if you've been using the Insta360 Flow, or even if you're just familiar with this gimbal, then you're going to be very happy with the upgrades made in the new Insta360 Flow Pro. Now, I've got this with the tripod bundle, which comes in at roughly around 179, but you can also get some optional accessories, which I do have. Spotlight, which you can connect to either the Flow or the Flow Pro. This comes in at around 27 pounds. And then I've also gone ahead and bought the magnetic phone mount for MagSafe iPhones, which comes in at around 20 pounds. These two are optional accessories. If you are going to use the spotlight, then I would recommend that you use it with the phone mount that comes in the box. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you why every single iPhone user needs to have the Flow Pro as their primary gimbal. Now, between the Flow and the Flow Pro, there's been a few enhancements. It actually comes with a little card to showcase everything that the Flow Pro can do. But a few updates that have been made from the Flow include the NFC one tap pairing, which allows this to be the world's first dot kit compatible gimbal. And we'll dive into that a little bit more later in the video. Native tracking with the iPhone camera. And this also is compatible with native tracking with over 200 third party apps from the iOS store. 360 degree infinite pan tracking and also the fact that there's a nice little ring light now to showcase when tracking has been enabled and that's a very nice gesture as well just so you can see when the gimbal is actually tracking you now this has a very similar design to the flow you can see at the back here this is a little latch that opens up to a cold shoe mount so you can attach maybe like a microphone or even an additional spotlight if you need to same buttons as before you have yourself the mode switch button the power button, the shutter button, and you have yourself the LED lights here for all the different modes that you can cycle to by swiping left or right from on top of the actual wheel. And then when paired with the Insta360 app, you can actually zoom in as well by using the little slider around this control wheel. You have yourself the USB-C port just there to charge it up, USB-C port for attachments, and you can actually power your phone as well because this doubles up as a power bank. This does have up to 10 hours of battery life on its 2,900 milliamp hour internal battery. And right at the top of the handle, you'll see there's an NFC logo. This is where you can unlock your phone and just tap it right there and it will automatically detect the gimbal and it will connect via NFC and enable dock kit. And we'll showcase what that does. But this is a really nice, compact, all-in-one design. It's so easy to use. You have yourself the trigger button at the back there. When you do open it up, it turns on automatically. You can also turn it off by just holding down the power button for a few seconds. But it's just a quick one-step design just to get up and running for your filming. You just literally clamp on your phone at the top and you're ready to go. Now, speaking of phone mounts, let's go and take a closer look at the two that I do have. Now, in most cases, I will be using the MagSafe mount because this is just quick and easy and I can just leave it attached to the back of my phone. Very strong magnet. However, if I'm planning on using the Spotlight that I bought as an additional accessory, then I would require to use the standard phone mount that comes in the box. So to mount this, you'll notice there's a little ridge just there at the top. All you have to do is press the sides of the Spotlight just here clamp that to the back of this and it will attach directly inside there and that's how you're going to connect the USB-C cable to the top part of the USB port on the gimbal here just to that port there Now this is very easy to use as well you have two buttons along the top you just hold down the one on the right hand side to turn it on once it's on you can just tap the right button to go through low medium or high brightness levels and then the left one is the color scale so you can go from warm cool or natural color white lights this also rotates 180 degrees as well very quick and easy in case you want to switch the direction of your filming so now that we've seen everything let's go ahead and show you how to connect this via nfc and get up and running with dock it now you simply unlock your phone and then you just point it onto the nfc part here get very close to it and you can see automatically it comes up with tracking dock locating your accessory and it will find the gimbal straight away there we go hit connect you'd only have to do this the first time the next time it will automatically connect so you won't have any issues on that front there we go now you can start using your native iPhone camera to start recording your videos and using DeepTrack 3.0 so it can natively track you directly from this camera rather than utilizing the Insta360 app or any other third party app. So that's one of the best features of this and this is one of the top main reasons why every iPhone user would need to use this as their primary gimbal. Now I'm really excited to showcase this and how it works. Now it's very simple to connect. 
You can even put this MagSafe mount directly on there first, or you just put it on your phone. And you literally just put it on there, very strong magnet, make sure it clips into place and it is locked at the back, and then everything is ready to go. You can actually rotate landscape and portrait and just change the orientation by just moving the phone itself. A lot of gimbals that I know will make the gimbal go a little bit crazy if you try to mess around with it manually. Not the Insta360 Flow gimbals. This is just perfect if I just want to switch to portrait, just turn it yourself. Or you can use the mode switch button on there, double tap that, and that will automatically switch it to that landscape mode or the portrait mode as you wish. So you can see there's a green LED ring around the base of the gimbal right now. That means the native tracking has been enabled. Okay, so I have the iPhone now set up, just showcasing to you in the camera with the native iPhone camera app. To turn on native tracking is very simple. You press the trigger button on the back of the gimbal once and the green LED ring light around the NFC logo will light up. That signifies that the native tracking is now enabled. So if I just press this, you'll see the green light is on, the phone has moved because it's now detected me as the primary source to now start tracking. This works great because now if I disappear and go out of the shot and come back in, it detects me as the primary source and it will continue tracking me and not someone else that just interferes within the shot as well or comes into frame. So this is great, you can see it's now tracking me. I can move around the room. This works very well, and I'm gonna be testing this out a little bit more in detail outdoors as well. Now, since the tracking works with over 200 third-party camera apps, let's go ahead and try with one of the most popular third-party camera apps called Blackmagic. So I've just loaded this up now, and I'm going to turn on the tracking and showcase that this also works with any other camera app. Now, I'll go ahead and turn on the tracking, and here you can see that it's working as well as the native iPhone camera app. So even if your preference is to use any other third party camera app, you can be confident knowing that this will also work with that. And there's so many different apps that this also is compatible with. So have a play around and you will not be disappointed. Okay, and this is how it looks with the spotlight and the default phone mount attached. Let's go ahead and turn the spotlight on. I'm going to just hold down the button for a couple of seconds. There you go, it's turned on. I can now cycle through the brightness levels using that same button. And I can also change the color variation to a cool white or a warm white light, just using the button on the right hand side. So as to showcase how this looks when you are in low lighting conditions, I'm just going to turn off some of the lighting around me and see the difference it makes between recording with the spotlight and without the spotlight. Okay, so this is a selfie recording without the spotlight turned on. I've got a bit of ambient lighting in the background, which actually looks quite fine. But if I wanted to brighten up my face a little bit more, then I'm going to require a light source. So let's go ahead and turn on this Insta360 Flow Spotlight and see how that performs. Now take a look at the complete difference of how great this looks. That spotlight, even though it might look quite small, is actually very bright. And you can see how much it illuminates my face, my skin, and it just makes my videos so much better, especially if I'm going to be shooting at nighttime or in dark rooms, dark locations. This is brilliant. So I can't fault the spotlight, and I think that's a great accessory if you just want the full package. Okay, so now there's nothing else to do except head outdoors and play around more with the gimbal itself, take some nice shots with the gimbal, showcase the 360 degree pan rotation of this, and also the native deep track of this as well using the native iPhone camera. And we'll try out some of the things with the Insta360 app as well, just to showcase some of the variety of different shots that you can take with this gimbal using multiple different apps. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's start off with the 360 degree tracking. Now I'm gonna walk all the way around my tripod and go back to the starting point. And I'm also going to showcase when I disappear from the frame and return again, that it's going to continue picking me up as the subject, which I think is absolutely great. So you can see, I can keep going round and round. It will just do a complete 360. What I'm gonna do now is head into the summer house, disappear, and as soon as I come back, it will continue tracking me. Now, if I come back and move to the side, 
it remembers me and you can see as usual this is great because it keeps picking me up as the subject if somebody else comes in front of me then it's not going to start tracking them whatsoever so that is a very great feature which i really like about the insta360 flow pro so i'm here at the world famous windsor castle home of the royals to show you some shots taken with the gimbal using both the native camera app and some modes from the insta360 app so let's take a look So hopefully you found those shots and that review very useful if you do have an iphone just remember you need to have ios 17 or higher to be able to use the native tracking on your main iphone camera app if you do have ios 18 and higher once that is released then you can also use the panoramic cinematic mode and photo modes to do some of the tracking features as well so keep that in mind and this is perfect for every iphone user to be honest it's not specifically made for iPhone. You can use Android phones with it, but you won't be able to utilize a lot of the native tracking features and capabilities of this. But nonetheless, I am so happy with this. I require no other person to help me do my filming, especially when I have such a great companion like the Flow Pro. Make sure to check out the link in the description to find out all the latest pricing information and all of the key specs that I may not have covered in this video. If you did like that, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all at the next one. Take care.